Welcome, am I in frame here? Welcome back to the channel everybody. For those of you new around here, my name is Michael aka Dr. Cellini and on today's video, we are going to get into some juicy, juicy questions. I had you all submit any question you wanted to ask me, whether it be medically related or whatever it is, ask me on my Instagram, slide into my DMs. I had you ask me on YouTube and what we're going to do, I haven't looked at any of these questions by the way, but I'm going to bring in my lovely assistant and she is going to ask me her favorite questions and uh, I'll try to answer them. So we're just trying to like rapid fire these questions, get into them, get juicy into my life and have some fun in the meantime. So let's get into it. Babe! Let me change the setup. Hold please. All right, so I have my lovely assistant here. She is browsing through these questions. I have no idea what they are. So let's go before my leg falls asleep. Is there something in my eye? No. I feel like there's a string in my eyeball. Okay, I got it. Alrighty. First question, how did you pay for college and med school? So for college, I was a scholarship athlete. So I had almost, well, I think 80% of my tuition paid for. I only had to pay for a room and board, which is why I mentioned I had to work for everything. And that's in the how I stay motivated video. I described all that stuff. And then how I paid for med school. Yeah. All them student loans, baby. Okay. <laughs> Future aspiring. Did you screenshot that? Yes. Okay. Future aspiring IR doc here, what did you do to enhance your residency apps apart from step one? Build connections, get your face out there. Like you have to get in front of people. People have to recognize you. People have to know your name. People have to know that you're hardworking, know that you're a good person, not just on paper. It's a very small community. So the more you get yourself out there and get your face recognized, people see like, oh, oh, that's that's Michael. He's that hardworking med student. And they talk to each other. So just get out there, rotate, make friends with the residents and uh, yeah. I met a ton of hardworking med students and there are a few that really impressed me and I worked extremely hard to make sure that they got interviews at my program and also got accepted in my program. I remember. Yeah. All right, out of all your siblings, who is the most competitive? Me, for sure. I was an athlete. I still am an athlete. Um, okay. <laughs> Opinion on IRPAs. Scope creep. Oh, please. I've said it. I mean, I'm exhausted by saying this so much. Like, I can't do my job without PAs and IR. Like, they literally made our job possible. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't be able to do everything we do throughout the day because we're super busy as it is. And if we had to take care of all the stuff that the PAs do, which is like everything behind the scenes, getting everything ready. And I then would... some of the procedures that I Yeah, and then the do. procedures they do. Like, I can't function without them. We have three PAs every single day, sometimes two, and sometimes one. And when I work where there's only one PA, my day is like a disaster because it's- Holy cannoli, three PAs? Oh God. <sighs> Next question. How are your teeth so white? I don't know. White Genetics? Crest white strips? Crest white strips to sponsor you. Yeah, I wish. I only use them like once every, I can't remember the last time I used them, once every month? Like a random white strip here and there? I don't know. Next. When do you and A plan to start having kids? Never. <laughs> I don't know, a year or so. We're enjoying our life right now, so. Is there many emergency IR procedures? Uh, most emergent IR procedures are either a nephrostomy tube and someone with urosepsis or someone bleeding that needs to be embolized. Do PAs work in IR? What procedures can they do? They can do paracentesis, thoracentesis, ports, vascular access, tunnel catheters. Some do some CT guided biopsies, drain placements. I mean, they do a lot. F and A's. Do you fancy real estate investments? Do I fancy them? Not only do I fancy them, I, how much am I on the phone about real estate investment? A lot. She like literally hates it. I don't hate it. <laughs> no, I'm always on the phone talking about different properties, all that stuff. Yes, we invest in real estate and I may start talking about that more on this channel because we have some cool projects we're doing. I am like, I love it. I was in real estate before I went into medicine, but now I'm a real estate investor and I love it way more. What's your dream car? Lamborghini Urus, which I saw Dr. Mike just got. So jealous. And he got a black one too. I want black on black because that's all I get. Jealous. Did you apply to any MD programs or strictly to DO? If so, why? I applied to one DO school, got in, and I ran with it. So it was kind of like 
you just applied and didn't I, know I, what, I, you were, <laughs> what you were gonna do. I back just applied, then. yeah, I applied randomly and I was like, there's no chance I'll get in because I wasn't like, I was mostly ready, but I was still taking some more courses and I just applied on a whim because my friend was at that school and he was like, just try, man, just try. And I was like, all right, sure, why not? I did it, got in, I was like, I'm not waiting another year. I'm not gonna apply to any more schools. And then I ran with it and here I am. Nice. Can you do more stock videos on medical stocks? Yes, but I think the problem is the stock videos are so like niche that not many people like to view those videos. So what I plan on doing is making more like TikToks and then YouTube shorts on those specific stocks and not like a whole dedicated video because like only finance nerds like myself like to watch those. So a lot of people don't like to watch like a 10 minute video on a stock analysis. If you aren't in medicine, what career would you see yourself in? Love your channel. I don't know, stock trading? Oh, I would love to be a trader. That'd be dope. But I don't know if I would like, I feel like I'd rather just be like a retail trader. Cause once you start doing like trading full time, I can imagine it'd be just as stressful as medicine. I mean, you're dealing with people's money. A lot of time people care more about money than they do- Their health? Their health. <laughs> so it's like just as stressful. If you can only eat and drink one thing for the rest of your life, what are those two things? Pizza. God, I love pizza. Never eat it hardly ever, but pizza and drink? What do I drink forever? Bourbon? I mean, I would get I, sick of bourbon. Yeah. Water? Topo Chico. <laughs> <laughs> do you play <laughs> golf? Yes, I play golf. I try to play golf. Where do you get your YouTube ideas? Ooh, do you know where I, where do I think of all my ideas? In the shower when he's pacing back and forth like this. Yes. After With eyes closed <laughs> like this. After I finish showering, I do the best thinking in the shower. So I'll just sit there and I just like let the water run over me. And I just like, that's when all the ideas start flowing and I'll just think of stuff. And then sometimes randomly, I'll just like think of a video to do. And then I'm like, oh, that'd be a good idea. And then I just do it. Or actually, no, I take that back. I write it down, my notes in my little app, and then I have it so I don't forget about it. Should I invest in figs? The stock? Yes. Uh, I did a long time ago at the IPO and it's been very lucrative for me. I sold half my position and I may re-add actually if it continues to drop a little bit. That stock is phenomenal, not financial advice. An embarrassing moment from med school. Oh, I did a whole video on that. Link up here is called I Messed Up. I did that like a few months ago. There's some funny stories, especially towards the end of the video. Go watch it. How satisfied are you currently in your life? Love my life right now. How, I'm literally like, how happy are we right now? Mm -hmm. Like, what do the kids say? No cap. No cap. That's what they say. <laughs> like, happiness? No, no, like, no cap means no, like, not lying. Oh, 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 oh. Did she even, Michael's more uh, did she even gen, part up? of the Gen Z than I am. I mean, no cap. It's no cap. No, like, literally love my life right now. Never been happier. Love my job. Love the time we have. Love my wife. Love my wife. We're like finally, like, at the end of the road, have a career, like like life is good. Traveling again, life is great. Never been happier. Did you ever feel like you wouldn't meet someone like Andriana? I've never dated anybody like her ever in my life. She's like completely unique to anybody I've ever dated and not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never thought I would, but I took a little, little swing, hit a home run. I mean, <laughs> your jokes today, where, like, talk about corny AF. I don't know what's wrong with me today. We're going on vacation soon, that's why I'm like getting pumped, excited. I think you're getting the, like, senioritis. For, for what? For the trip. It's kind of like you're oh, getting like, like tripitis? the, tri the tripitis. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting excited about it. Thinking about it. All right. Is water wet? Yes. I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's wet. It's a liquid. I swear I have something in my eye. What is your favorite hospital cafeteria food to have? Hmm. There's a good salad bar, I love that, but like, honestly, anytime they make like grilled chicken, like, I don't know, Taco Tuesdays or something, that's, Taco Tuesday is good. Babe, is there something in my eyeball? I feel like there's a fuzz. No fuzz. Wait, I was laughing, someone said, do I make you call me Dr. Cellini? Oh, I know. That's hilarious. Uh, no. <laughs> no. We do it because my mom started doing, she would always be like, hey, Dr. Cellini. Yeah, she did, did it as a joke, joke. and then it just kind of like And then we stuck. always just do it, because he. you don't get angry, but you're just like, oh Lord, like. They do it to mess with me, and then like yeah. it just kind of stuck. So they're always like, well, Dr. Cellini, Dr. Cellini, whatever. So it's just kind of a funny thing that's stuck. No, I don't make them call me Dr. Cellini at home. <laughs> Be a little weird. Call me doctor when I'm in this house. Do your eyes ever get tired and blurry from looking at images all day? Yes, after this weekend, watch the video I just 
post two videos ago, the 32 hours on call over the weekend when I was pure diagnostic. And towards the end of that video, I was watching, my eyes are like completely bloodshot and red. And I wear contacts and it's miserable wearing contacts that long. And yeah, no good. They definitely get tired and I always get a headache after the end of a long shift like that. What's your favorite music of choice to get you hyped before work? Ooh. So sometimes if I'm like really wanting to get hyped up, I listen to like NWA or I listen to uh, Young Dolph or Dolph, whatever. Or I listen to Peppas. What's that song? Peppas. Uh, Faruko. Faruko, whatever it is. That song is. If you don't get hyped up when you hear that song. I, what I are you even doing? Yeah, I don't even know who you are. Has a patient ever recognized you? If so, how does it make you feel? Only if few times. I don't mind it. It's kind of awkward, but I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just try to like move past it and focus on like the actual procedure. Where's your favorite place to travel to? Croatia. Why did you do Audi instead of Tesla? I like Audi. From what I've read, the Teslas aren't made, like the actual quality of the Tesla is not up to like par with other vehicles in its class. I mean, it's a fantastic vehicle, but it's just, I don't want to deal with like electronic stuff and I don't know. I just don't like it. And I don't really like, I'd rather have an Audi. I like it better. Can you do a video on investments? Yes, I want to. You just have to be willing to watch it. If it gets like 10 views, then the point of me doing that video is not really, it doesn't really do anything for anybody. Which were your USMLE scores? <sighs> I can't even remember my step two score, to be honest with you. Step one was in the 240s or something. I cannot remember step two. Step three doesn't matter. Step two, I really don't. Step one was in the 240s, I know that. I wanna say like 245, eight, something, mids. I don't know, it doesn't matter anymore. Is 31 too old to start med school? I started at 25, so I'm a little on the older side. To start six years later than that, let's get up there. It depends on the situation in your life. Only you can answer that. Exactly. I feel like you only have one life to live, so do what makes you happy. Yep, it's true. It's a lot of work though. <laughs> All right, what Let's else? See. One more. Would you do a collaboration with a Filipino radiologist? Sure. Does that mean I can take a trip to the Philippines? I will 100% do it. I'll come with. If, if I can go to the Philippines. I will do any collaboration where I can like travel somewhere. I'm still trying to do a collaboration somewhere in Croatia, like in the Zagreb Interventional Radiology. If you know anybody there, Zagreb Interventionalist, hit me up. I want to come over there. I want to see how you do things, film it, make a whole thing. It'll be fun. So, is that good right. enough? Those were a ton of questions. You did a great job. Thank you. Very fast, very efficient. So, as always, That's make sure you- That's my second name. What? Efficient. <laughs> Definitely not. So on that note, make sure you smash like, subscribe button. Only subscribe to my channel, not Andrano's. <laughs> Maybe I should do a Q and A and you could be my assistant. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do a Q and A on her channel and I'll be her assistant. So subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my channel, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and we'll see you all. We'll still be in Italy at the time this comes out, by the way. Oh, nice. So hopefully we're uh, enjoying the Italian. Wine and cheese yeah. and food. I'll probably be Culture. like. Culture. 10 pounds fatter when you see me next. I think it's called 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> I can't I can't deal. All right, we're going to eat. See ya. All right. I'm starved. <laughs> we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.